Hey, what's up you guys? It's Travis. We were gonna do this really extensive video today and it didn't work out. We ran out of time. So I was like, oh my gosh, I need to do another video. And so this is my other video. I've never improvised a video except for the Real Me Challenge where I kind of like spilled my heart out and talked about real stuff. Today I just had a little too much coffee so we're just gonna kind of see where this ends up. So basically I got this daddy beard because I'm doing a beard trimming tutorial but don't tell anyone about it because it's coming up in the next couple of weeks and I want y'all to click it when I upload that thing. But I got this daddy beard here and it's never been this long before but one thing we realized today is that it actually has red hints in it. When you look at the in the light I have red hints of hair on my face so I'm kind of a low-key ginger but don't tell anyone but I'm okay with that it's nothing I'm really concerned about because you know what maybe that means I have some Irish in my background and I really like Irish food so that would totally make sense and I do feel a little bit lucky sometimes sometimes I don't feel so lucky but today I feel particularly lucky because I get to spend time with none other than James Hey, did you just flip them off? Anyway, let's catch up on life a little bit you guys so far um, I have to tell you guys that Beyonce God rest your soul is no longer with us. For those of you guys who don't know, Beyonce is a bunny rabbit that I found on the street and I almost hit her with my car. And the thing with Beyonce is that she liked to chew cords. I think I have a picture of the cords that she chewed up right here. So I was like, you know what, Beyonce, you gotta go back in your cage. But then Beyonce went in the cage and I put her in there and she would get pissed. She was a house bunny. She likes to be out and free with the rest of the world, you know? She wasn't happy. I wasn't happy. It was just an unhealthy relationship. And if there's anything my ex-boyfriends have taught me, it's that you should probably get out of the relationship as soon as it starts going sour because it's only gonna get worse from there. Dang. Real time right there James we got some real talk right there he makes fun of me because I try to speak with a British accent but it doesn't work out so well it's terrible. awful. It's, it's awful. I think it's pretty good. You guys, let me know in the comment section below if you like my British accent. Oh, let's see what else we got to show you guys right now. I got some watermelon over here. Mmm. I was supposed to show you guys Jack's new photo. Well, here it is. I went on a date with some guy a couple weeks ago, or no, that's a lie, it's a complete lie. I met someone on FaceTime a couple of days ago, let's just clarify that right the hell now. It was this guy that was super cute, we FaceTimed for our first date, because that's what you do, it's 2016. By the way, do you guys have Pokemon Go? I have Pokemon Go. Comment below, let me know what team you guys are on. I chose Team Instinct, and I don't know why, because red's my favorite color, so why would I pick yellow? It doesn't even make sense. So if you're on the yellow team, shout out to you guys, all three of you, we gotta stick together because everyone else has it out for us. This is recording. We are live. We drank a lot of coffee. Well, we didn't drink that much coffee, but I'm extra sensitive to coffee because I have hypothyroidism. And for some reason, when I take my thyroid medication, it makes coffee affect me even worse than other people. So I'm really fing hyper right now. Um. No, oh, the guy that I went on the date with. It was this really nice guy. I really liked talking to him. I was really excited about that. I haven't met anyone that I was really excited about in a really long time. Although I'm focusing on myself right now and James is here to help me stay on track with that. Hashtag on track. Miss you, Jack. I met this guy and he seemed super, super nice. And we were connecting and I thought he was super cute. And he's kind of everything that... I don't want to say anything that I want because right now I don't really want anything. But I did like him. But five minutes in the conversation... Oh, wait, before I say anything else, my software on my computer automatically records every face and call that I have. So I accidentally recorded our call. I can't show his face, but I can show you what he said because in the first five minutes of meeting, he asked me about my penis. That was a little bit of a shocker, and I'll show you guys the footage right about now. What's your ethnicity background? I can't figure it out. I'm German. You can see the German. Because I'm German. I don't see French. There's no way you're French. French is like the biggest one, actually. Huh. So you're uncut Frenchman or what? <laughs> I didn't answer the question, okay, because I'm not that big of a hoe bag, just a little bit of a hoe bag. Like, just a small little baguette that you can fit, like, a little small apple in that with your lunch pack that you pack for the rest of the day when you go to school and stuff. So anyway, I'm cool talking about pretty much anything, but then one red flag that that raised is that I could possibly be talking to none other than a fuck boy. No! God, please, no! No! If you guys are meeting someone for the first time and someone asks you about the size of your penis, especially ladies, if they ask you the size of your penis, does that mean you have a fuck boy? Or does that mean you just have someone that doesn't have boundaries with what they talk about when they first meet? Because I can be pretty open about talking about just about anything. However, the next day I did text him to see how he was doing, and he didn't text back until 4 o'clock in the morning telling me to add him on Snapchat. Uh, that's probably treading even farther into fuckboy material, but I want to know what you guys have to say. Do you think that I'm dealing with a fuck boy, I should keep seeing it through because I actually do kind of like this guy and so I want to see what I should do. So I really don't know what this video is turning into anymore so I guess I'm just gonna do a little bit of show and tell what's in my room. So let's see what I got. So this is a notebook that someone gave to me. I like this so much that I actually don't write in it because I want to keep it. Oh, but I did write in it for a while. I was using it for my to-do list. I'm really not sure how I feel about this hair right now. Is it like a hairstyle or does it look like I gave up? 
So I'm playing Witcher, it's like the longest game in the history of video games, but it is a little bit overwhelming because it seems like it's never, ever, 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 ever going to end. I'm really excited about this game because it's really fun anyway. And look, there's a map that they have inside too. So this is where I live and this is where James lives. Just kidding. I'm just kidding. It's not where James lives. James lives over here. <laughs> Let's see what else we got to show them. I'm supposed to get study earrings. We gotta do that soon. I'm waiting for Jack to get here though. So tell Jack to get his ass to Los Angeles. But she's actually coming here next week, so I don't need you guys to tell him that after all. But maybe while he's here, we can get those study earrings and he can show me exactly how to do it because I really like how Jack wears his study earrings. But I don't know if it's gonna work with this haircut that I have right now. So let me know in the comment section below if you guys think I can still rock study earrings. Oh, I didn't get to show them this. Hey guys, this is the crown that I got just like last week. Something funny to you, James. I guess I can wear it more as a necklace. This is actually kind of cool. I can wear this around town. So anyway, I guess I'll just rock this for the rest of the video. So thank you. This is not the video for you if you want things to make sense, okay? Think of this as the rabbit hole in Alice in Wonderland, and we are skydiving into that motherfucker. Some of you guys ask why I believe some of the cuss words in my videos and sometimes why I don't. The reason I do ever is because my grandmother watches my videos, and I hate to think of my grandmother hearing me cuss. So I really do it for one person in my life, the only woman that I ever loved. Just kidding, I loved lots of other women, but I really have a special place in my heart for my little grandmother, Lucy Here's a picture of her right now. Anyway, that's a little bit of my catch up today. I'm sorry I can get the like the real video up. I will have it up in the next couple of weeks. I'm really excited about that. And James is actually helping me make that possible. So give a shout out to James. I hope I can show James' face. I'm gonna talk to him about that after this. Hopefully he's not pixelated when you guys are watching this right now because that means he said no. Thank you guys so much for letting me just have this little video chat time with you after uh, drinking my little cup of coffee that sent me to cloud nine. I really enjoyed this. I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day. I hope you have a good weekend. I hope that you're safe. Don't drink and drive. Call me if you need a ride and don't talk to strangers, okay? Thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you next time.